something interesting just popped up. Listen to that. Music. Civilian broadcast. Hey, this fellow says the Pentagon is doing some sort of exercise to test our readiness. Russian has been taking things a bit too far. I thought it was being a Russian radar copy in 20 minutes. Listen to that. Park four stations. Just turning it out. Mandrake? Yes, sir. I thought I issued instructions for all radios on this base to be impounded. Well, you did indeed, sir. And I was in the process of impounding this very one when I happened to switch it on. I thought to myself, I thought I was in Russian radar cover in 20 minutes dropping all their stuff. I better tell you, because if they do, they thought it's quite a bit of a stink, now what? Group Captain, the officer's exchange program does not give you any special prerogatives to question my orders. Well, I... I realize that, sir, but I thought you'd be rather pleased to hear the news. After all, I mean, we don't want to start a nuclear war unless we're really happy, not do we? <laughs> Please sit down and turn that thing off. Yes, sir. Um, what about the plane, sir? Surely we must issue the recall code immediately. Group Captain, the planes are not going to be recalled. My attack orders have been issued, and the orders stand. Well, if you excuse me saying, sir, sir, that would be in my way of thinking, well, well, rather an odd way of looking at it. You see, if the Russians, if the Russian attack was in progress, then we would certainly not be hearing any civilian broadcast. Are you certain of that, Mandrake? I'm absolutely positive about that, sir, yes. Well, what if it is true? Well, I'm afraid I'm still not with you there, because, I mean, if a Russian attack was not in progress, then you're using Plan R. In fact, you're of the entire wing. Then I'd say it's uh, something dreadfully wrong somewhere. Well, why don't you just take it easy, Group Captain? And please make me a drink of grain alcohol and rainwater. And help yourself to whatever you'd like. General Ripper, sir, as an officer of Manager's Air Force, it is my clear duty, under the present circumstances, to issue the recall code upon my own authority. Now, if you'll excuse me, sir. I'm afraid I must ask you for the key and the recall code. Do you have them handy, sir? Well, I told you to take it easy, Group Captain. There's nothing anybody can do about this thing now. Well, I'm the only person who knows the three-letter code, Group. Then I must insist, sir, that you give them to me. so that you're threatening your brother officer with a gun. Mandrake, I suppose it never occurred to you that while we're chatting here so enjoyably, the decision is being made by the President and the Joint Chiefs in the war room at the Pentagon. And when they realize there is no possibility of recalling the wing, there will be only one course of action open. Total commitment. Mandrake, do you recall what Clemenceau once said about war? No, I don't think I do, sir, no. He said that war was too important to be left to the generals. When he said that, 50 years ago, he might have been right. But today, War is too important to be left to the politicians. They have neither the time, the training, nor the inclination for strategic thought. I can no longer sit back and allow communist infiltration, communist indoctrination, communist subversion, and the international communist conspiracy to sap and purify all of our precious bodily fluids.